Hi everybody, welcome back to the Zenith Cruiser build. I'm Mark Pensestadler and today I'm going to finish up the back end of this airplane. Okay, now before I can rivet on the forward part of this vertical stabilizer, I had to uh, redesign a way to mount this or route this elevator cable because the front edge was rubbing on the top of the skin. And what I did was I built a, another pulley and put it under the skin so that the cable now goes through the hole at a little bit of a sharper angle and clears the skin. And then before I put the vertical stabilizer on, I had to design a elevator up stop and that was a little bit of a hassle to do. And I had some footage of when I started doing it and I lost all that footage. So I'm just gonna do kind of a voiceover with some photos that I took along the way. All right, first I wanna talk about this pulley that I I'm riveted under the top skin for the cable. These are the three parts I got from Zenith, just another one of their elevator cable pulleys with the bracket. And I wanted my shorter than the stock brackets so I drilled new holes in there for the bolt which you can see here after that was done I sliced off the top of each of the brackets after I drilled the little hole where the cotter pin will go to help hold the cable to the pulley once I cut the top off I used that just to trace the, the curve onto my now shorter bracket and then once I filed and cleaned up the edges I now have the same exact bracket for the pulley, but you can see it's a lot shorter than the stock bracket. And then to mount it, I just laid it on top of the skin, aligned with the pulley, and I just used a Sharpie to mark the very first hole. Once I drilled that hole, I put the bracket on, Clecoed in place with just the one hole drilled, and then with that held in place with that Cleco, I just drilled the rest of the holes. This is what the assembled pulley looks like with the cotter pin in it. So I just flipped it upside down, put it under the skin, and pulled the four rivets to hold it in place. Now with that pulley under the top skin, that cable no longer rubs on the forward part of that skin. It works really nice and it's really solid. Now as far as the elevator up stop, you can see the thick angle bracket I have riveted to the elevator control horn. You can also see on here a reinforcement plate I've riveted to the top of the horizontal stabilizer. I think it's really dangerous to have that bracket come down on top of the horizontal stabilizer without any kind of reinforcement there, which basically is how Zenith designed it. The problem I had was even when that bracket comes down, the only thing that's hitting against is that top skin. And even with that reinforcement plate on it, all it does when you pull back on the elevator all the way is that that bracket just pushes down on the skin. And that's why I have that other thicker L angle riveted across the whole assembly there. It just gives it a little bit more support and makes it a little bit more solid. Although I will tell you, it's still not a very solid up stop because even with that thicker L angle riveted across, if you keep pulling on the L or the stick, uh, like if you're pulling up elevator, it does still kind of flex that top skin a little bit. If I was building this airplane over again, I think what I would do is I would add maybe two or three of the L angles going horizontally across the, the span of the horizontal stabilizer. I'd mount them inside the stabilizer and that would just really beef up this area so that when that elevator up stop comes down, it would, it would really hit on something solid instead of just the flimsy skin of the top of the horizontal stabilizer. And this photo I just put in, and just in case you wanted to see it, this is just the counterweights. It's on the end of that elevator control horn. Now this needs no commentary. Sit back and enjoy.